In this tutorial we're going to look at the workflow for using motion vectors for applying motion blur to 3D in 2D. We'll be looking at the advantages as well as some of the shortcomings and pitfalls when setting up a scene to render. A motion vector is a type of pass that we can output using mental rays render passes. This image will contain RGB information for each pixel recording its velocity and direction of travel. This information allows us to apply motion blur effects in post using popular compositing software such as Nuke. The main benefit from using motion vectors is that we can speed up the rendering process by not having to calculate costly motion blur effects in 3D. However, because the blur is applied in post, some shortcomings will be evident. This scene is set up to show some of those shortcomings. In this scene, I'm using both Maya's render layers as well as Mental Ray's render passes. The mixture of the two layer types will create issues which will have to be circumvented. With the render layers, I've created an occlusion foreground, an occlusion background, as well as a shadow pass. With the render passes, I have a background beauty pass, foreground beauty pass, as well as an all pass which will contain the motion vector. In this example I've rendered out using Mental Ray's render passes system. I've also saved in an EXR format which allows me to store those passes within separate layers within the same file. Here I can see my beauty background pass, my beauty foreground pass, and finally the motion vector itself which is storing again per pixel information for the X Y translation as well as the velocity of each pixel. The first thing that we're going to look at is the correct setup of the render layers themselves. In this scene I have just my shadow ground, my occlusion background and my occlusion foreground render layers. We're now going to create the render passes to actually output both our beauty layer as well as our motion vectors. So the first thing I need to do is select all of the objects in my scene that I want to be considered when rendering my passes. That basically means all of my geometry as well as the camera and also the lights that are going to be affecting that geometry. If I leave a light out of the render layer that will not include that at render time. So I need to make sure that my render layers also include my lights. Okay so with all my geometry selected and my lights I'm going to now go over to the render layers and if I click on this icon over on the right hand side that will create a new render layer and assign the selected objects to that render layer. I'm going to rename this to passes. Okay so that includes everything that I want to consider when I render this scene. The next thing I need to do is split this render into separate elements. So I want a foreground pass which includes just my foreground jacks and a background pass which just includes my background element. I'm also going to create an all pass. The all pass is used to include everything so that will include both foreground and background elements. So to do this I'm first of all going to select my jacks and again I'm going to include the lights that I want affecting this so I'm going to select my two lights, the mental ray IBL as well as the directional light and if I go over to my passes I'm going to right mouse click over and if I go down to pass contribution maps I can create pass contribution map and add selected so that was pass contribution maps create pass contribution map and add selected that would have been off screen I'm now going to scroll down and if I just double click the pass contribution map this is my foreground so I'm going to rename this to FG I'm now going to do the same with my background element so I'm going to select my background and again the lights that I want to affect it and again if I right mouse click over passes 
pass contribution maps and again create pass contribution map and add selected again I'm going to rename this element to BG finally I want to include my all pass so this will include everything all of the jacks as well as my lights so again right mouse click over my passes layer pass contribution maps and create pass contribution map and add selected I'm going to rename that to all oh. there we go okay next thing I need to do is create my actual render passes how I'm actually going to be outputting these renders so I'm going to go to my render settings and to my passes tab okay now in my scene passes this is where I can create the separate passes that I want to output if I go over and click on the right top right hand icon here this will bring up the render passes that I can create and for this exercise I'm just going to be creating beauty passes as well as my motion vector pass so I'm going to select beauty and under pass prefix I'm going to type FG underscore this will place FG in front of the word beauty when it creates the pass itself this is because I want to be able to differentiate between the foreground and the background beauty pass so this will be called FG underscore beauty if I now just hit create so I've selected beauty called it FG hit create you'll see we get a scene pass called FG beauty I'm now going to do this once again but this will be called BG beauty so pass prefix BG underscore hit create again okay so that's created my two beauty passes next thing I'm going to need to do is create the render layer for the motion vector itself now again pass prefix as you can see the name of this is all so I'm going to call this all underscore and if I go to my normalized 2d motion vector there are other motion vectors here but if you're using nuke you're going to want the normalized 2d motion vector so I'm going to select normalized 2d motion vector make sure my pass prefix is set to all and if I hit create and close that now creates my normalized motion vector okay so we've now created these passes but right now these haven't been associated with my render layer so next thing I need to do is associate these passes with the render layer itself I can do this by selecting the three passes and if I click down on this icon at the bottom here a little tick that will move these down into the associated passes that means that they're now associated with this pass you'll see that if I select a different render layer these are not associated it's only on this render layer here that these are associated okay so these are associated and if I was to render right now these would render however if I want to actually render these as separate elements I then need to pass these into separate contribution maps so if I just scroll down you'll see we have associated pass contribution map all I'm going to do is select where it says select pass contribution map and you'll see we have all BG and FG same as we created over here so I'm going to select all first and the all pass I want to associate the 2d motion vector with so I'm going to select all MV 2d norm remap make sure all is set selected down here and if I just click on the down arrow once again that moves it just down to there so that's now associated just with the objects within that contribution map I'm now going to do the same with the BG 
So I select again the BG Pass contribution map, select BG Beauty, I'm going to move that down 